guys, I'm Steve Zaragoza, Source Fit Nerd. We are here at Comic-Con. I'm so excited to bring you a special Comic-Con edition of Collectibles Corner. Today is so crazy, I can't do the show alone. So I've sent Maude and Sam out to get some other exclusive footage for you guys. For now, let's go check out the exclusives today at Preview Night, San Diego Comic-Con. to hit the floor of Comic-Con. Basically, we're outside, ready to go in. We're gonna check out all the exclusive collectibles that's happening in 2015. I hope I get to see a number of Batmans. We're gonna eat shit walking backwards. You know what, though? I'm committing. At Comic-Con, Hasbro has some of the best exclusives of the show. I'm talking lines that wrap around booths and go outside the convention center. What we have here is an exclusive My Little Pony, Pinkie Pie. We also have this freaking amazing black series, Star Wars First Order Stormtrooper. This is from The Force Awakens. This is the first official Force Awakens figure of the new Stormtrooper. It's freaking awesome. Also this shit, no idea what it is. Just kidding, I know it's Doctor Strange and Hela and some other characters and stuff, Marvel stuff. DJ, who is it? Check out this Ant-Man, it's just freaking cool. He also comes with a matchbox sized version of Ant-Man as a tiny man. Well, they say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but this is definitely a nerd's best friend. You know what I'm saying, Sam? That was pretty good, Mod. Oh my God, Link, oh my God. <laughs> the Jar's Attacks one is pretty cool. Or, or Mars Attacks. It could be Jars or Mars Attacks. Uh, DiamondPreviewWorld.com. You can check out all of these collectibles online. They're incredible. These I are really realistic. Check, check out the Godzilla there. I'm gonna I'm a fight too. Ooh. Gus Fring from the Breaking Bad line. He also comes with a bucket of chicken. Racist, you decide. I love NECA. Every year, it's another must-hit booth for me. NECA has been one of my favorite toy companies. Regardless of exclusives, I just love the stuff they do. This show, they have some amazing exclusives. I'm talking a Planet of the Apes three-figure bundle. We got Caesar, we got some other unnamed ape people that I'm sure have names. I'm sorry, I don't know their names. Do you know their names? Neither do I. I accept tips. So why is it so important to get exclusives at Comic-Con? To fill the man cave, of course. Well, what's in your man cave? Uh, all things a 12-year-old boy would love. I know this is a really inappropriate question, blah, blah, blah. How much are you willing to drop at this Comic-Con? <laughs> 500 bucks in your bag and it's, what, 25 minutes into Comic-Con? No, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I believe it's called an addiction. <laughs> uh, yes, probably. Then yeah. have fun! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap! Guys, I have to have it. I will do some bad things for that. Holy crap! Guys, this has been an amazing collectibles corner. Thank you both for helping me out and showing everyone some cool stuff as well. I had the worst time. That was so bad. I hated every second of it. And I'm pretty sure I want to get that TIE Fighter if it costs someone's life. Holy crap, that Flash figurine, I want it in our house. Guys, we all have our wish list, so if you guys want to buy it for us, I won't stop you. Our P.O. box is in the description. Let us know in the comments down below what your favorite collectible was. God bless, and we'll see you guys back at headquarters. And like and subscribe if you like this video, and let us know what collectibles you're interested in, and, uh, you know, show off your man cave or woo man cave, and what you've got and how much you paid, because you know what? We earn our money, and we get to spend it on all the crap we wanna. I mean, we made that joke about the P.O. Box, but I'm not kidding. That'd be really cool if you sent us some Whose stuff. birthday's coming up? Uh, August. Now, as you may or may not know, yesterday was preview night at San Diego Comic-Con, where thousands flocked to the convention center to get a day early crack at all the elusive exclusives, and a good chunk of time exploring the massive exhibitor hall. But also, an interview happened at the legendary booth where the director of the much-anticipated Warcraft movie, Duncan Jones, AKA David Bowie's fucking son, Ooh. in which he revealed he'd like to turn the Warcraft film series into a trilogy. Ooh. 